is uh, Trafalgar Park in South Oak Bay. It's the park that overlooks Trial Island and you can park your car at the top, but the park actually extends from there all the way down a rocky uh, cliff down to the ocean. And right here today, we've got a group of students from Margaret Jenkins and they are helping to remove invasive plants in the Gary Oak ecosystem. And the gorse is really invasive and it kills out all the native plants. So we're trying to get the gorse and broom out and the um, Himalayan blackberry so that we can keep the Gary Oak ecosystem. Before we came in here, it was a mass of gorse, which is probably one of the nastiest of all of shrubby invasive species we have around here. What was here before the gorse arrived, probably 50 or 60 years ago, nobody knows. But one of the cool things is that we still see little patches of native plants here and there, even in the thickets of gorse, and we have at least two rare species that occur in the park. We want to make the Sagari Oak Meadow so some of the rest western bluebirds can come back help the environment so the Gary Oak trees can grow. We are very uh, involved and committed to nature-based education. Uh, so this is part of our science, this is part of social studies and uh, social responsibility, so it all ties together beautifully. And what I'm finding is the students are writing about it and they have a lot to say, so it's improved their writing as well. The class will be able to go back and look a little bit about the biomes that occur around here and help give them a sense, a first-hand sense of something they're learning about in school, about the, about the biome, the natural zone that they live in. So instead of just studying it off the blackboard, they get to see it and actually do some help work to help repair it. We like cutting out the big, thick ones with these saws. And sometimes with the broom, it's kind of hard because it's bendy and the saw kind of can't get through it at first. They had uh, two uh, training sessions on how to hold their loppers and how to use a saw and uh, they are very careful, they, they understand so they, uh, they'll even teach other children about how to carry them properly. So I found this underneath a gorse plant and the gorse was covering it so if a little bird came down the piece of box he could not have gotten it. But now that the gorse was removed by that team over there, um, they could go down and they could dig this up and it would be a nice dinner for them. So we want these kids to have a project that they can be really active in and lead, be leaders in the community and learn good team building skills. I really like doing it. It feels good. I see them becoming more confident, more uh, clearer about their ideas, they, they have a, a better outlook. It's just brilliant all around. Getting outside, working together is just wonderful education. There are five classes involved in this project and each class is coming to the site um, this winter three times. So that's a huge amount of material that uh, can be removed by these students. This will be a nice park soon and there will be lots of flowers and blue. They're able to contribute something and they, they really uh, feel that deeply that they are making a difference and it's empowering them and giving them a sense of place in the community. These kids now are going to learn to love this area and when you love something you want to become a steward of it. After we cleared an area, keep it clear and then uh, plant back in the areas where there wasn't much butt gorse, plant those areas back to some of our native plants and uh, hopefully people can get a better sense of, the, of a park as uh, being more than just a simple pile of, uh, of uh, rough prickly shrubs and something that's just a little prettier with native wildflowers in the springtime and maybe even do some work to increase the populations of the endangered plants here. The plan is to carry on for five years and then we're hoping to do uh, sustain, uh, sustaining the park after that. So it's, it's going to take quite a while to reclaim this park, but it's worth the effort.